Welcome to the ANP review channel. In this video, I will talk about uh, the head and neck uh, anatomy models. Uh, there is two different anatomy uh, models for muscles that are popular. So I will review mainly this one and I also have some images from this type of model. Uh, for this type of model, I have a different videos that is uh, covering the side and uh, posterior views but I still uh, talk about some of the frontal views. So as you can see uh, in this model, the head and neck model, there is two uh, different uh, areas. This is more superficial and this is a deeper area. So majority of the muscle you can see it on this view. Uh, in this uh, part of the um, upper part of the cranium, there is uh, muscle is called front occipitalis muscle but in some other books uh, it's written epicraneus front and uh, frontal and occipital belly uh, so either way uh, it's fine so it does not really matter both are correct uh, so this is the aponeurosis this is connective tissue that uh, connecting two different muscles and this is the frontal belly or frontal muscle Uh, this is the orbicularis oculi muscle and uh, just in case you're wondering I'm not talking about the functions of the muscles because I have a different video for the functions This is by the way crugator supercilii. I did not put it there, but just in case if you want to know uh, Zygomatic there are two zygomatic um, muscles are there one is the zygomatic minor and the other one is the major. You can see the minor is superior to the major. Uh, Resorius is important for a smile. And you have another orbicularis. So this is orbicularis oris. Uh, both of them are uh, responsible for closing that area. So this is for the eye, this is for the mouth. And laveta labii superioris. So that's elevating uh, the upper lip. So it's this area is a little bit mixed up with the zygomatic minor, but it's this one. And there's also a levator anguli uh, oris. Uh, it's this one, but it's difficult to see in this view. So I did not put it there. Uh, depressor labii inferioris. So that's depressing the uh, lower lip. And the pressor anguli oris, so this one that is depressing the corner of the mouth, and mentalis, which is located in the chin area. Different models, similar muscles, so same idea, epicraneus. So you can see uh, this side is more superficial, these are the deeper muscles. So this is the frontal muscle or front uh, frontal belly or front occipitalis muscle. Uh, orbicularis oculi, zygomatic minor, zygomatic major, resorius, orbicularis oris, and then there are some muscles around it. So, laveta labii superioris. And levator anguli oris. Depressor labii inferioris. And depressor anguli oris. And finally, um, mentalis. Some other muscles that you can see, this is the trapezius muscle. So that's a back muscle, but you can still see it from this view. The sternocleidomastoid. Omohyoid, so it's a little bit difficult to see because it is partially covered by the sternocleidomastoid, but this is the one, this is like this. The sternohyoid, so going from the sternum all the way to the hyoid bone. So it's a superficial muscle. The sternothyroid, so this is the thyroid cartilage, the, from the sternum it goes to the thyroid cartilage, so this one. And then is the thyrohyoid, so from the thyroid it goes to the hyoid. 
Bun. Uh, different uh, models, but uh, the muscles of the neck area. So sternocleidal mastoid here, um, and you can see on this one it's covered by a different muscle, by this muscle. So this flat muscle that you see this is called platysma. So this is more superficial uh, on top of uh, sternocleidal mastoid. Deltoid, it's not a head and neck muscle, but uh, in this model you can see it, so I just put it there. Pectoralis major, and again, this is not head and neck muscle, but I put it here. Um, Sternohyoid, this is the neck muscle. Sternothyroid, see, this is the thyroid cartilage. So, sternum is this is sternum, it goes from here to here. And thyrohyoid. From the thyroid cartilage, it goes to the hyoid, which is around here. The back of the neck. So again, epicranius. So this is more superficial, and this is deeper layers. And this is the occipitalis muscle. You cannot see the whole thing, but it's occipitalis muscle. Uh, trapezius. So trapezius, uh, this side is more superficial. So this is trapezius muscle, this whole thing. And if you remove uh, trapezius muscle, then you can see some spinalis capitis. Spilineus, look at the direction of fibers. Spilineus capitis, this is spilineus, this is spilineus. This is the capitis, this is cervices. It's not distinguishable here, but they are two different muscles. Lavator scapulae. See, they are all behind or uh, deeper uh, than uh, trapezius muscle. Rhomboid minor, again, is deeper than uh, trapezius. And rhomboid major. And supraspinatus, this is the scapula. This bone is scapula. This is the spine of the scapula. This is the acromion. This is the clavicle. So this is the supraspinous fossa, and this is supraspinatus muscle. This one is the infraspinatus muscle. And again, deltoid. So deltoid, you can see from anterior view, lateral view, and posterior views. The lateral view of the head and neck model. So again, you have this epicranius or aponeurosis of occipital frontalis muscle. So this is occipitalis. This is the frontalis muscle or belly. Temporoparitalis, this is a superficial muscle compared with temporalis, which is a deeper muscle. So this is superficial. Orbicularis oculi, zygomatic minor, it's a little bit difficult to see. It's a little bit dark. Zygomatic major. Resorius, masseter, muscle of chewing, vaccinator, again orbicularis oris, depressor anguli oris, so from the corner of the mouth. This is depressor labii inferioris. Trapezius muscle, so located at the back. Semispinalis capitis, this area, this one. Spinalis capitis. Lavator scapulae. Scaling muscle, so there's three of them, okay? So this, you see only part of it. Sternocleidomastoid, partially covered by platysma. This is a little bit deeper, so this is, um, you don't see a lot of muscles here. The important one here is the temporalis, the chewing muscle, muscle of mastication. The pterygoid muscles are around here. 
to the great median laterals around here, so deeper. Miscellaneous chapters, lavator scapulae. This is semispinalis, this is spilinus uh, uh, capitis, and this is lavator scapulae. These are the scaling muscles, so it's posterior, media, intermediate, and anterior. And homohyoid, this is homohyoid. You can see only part of it. Sternocleidomastoid. Pectoralis major, deltoid, supraspinate. So if you have any question or comment, please write it in the section below. If you have any topic you want me to review, please uh, look at it. And if you like the video, please um, give it a thumb up and also subscribe to the channel because i regularly upload new videos and thanks for watching this video and see you next time i will have some other videos that i will post it soon